Wagner chief posts first message since mutiny, says March not aimed at overthrowing government apostrophe. Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigashin, in his first video message released on Monday, June 26, since his aborted mutiny, said that his rebellion was aimed at saving his embattled mercenary group and not overthrowing the Russian leadership. We went to demonstrate our protest and not to overthrow power in the country, said Prigashin, in the first audio message released since the Wagner's group march towards Moscow was called off at the weekend. The Wagner mercenary group's leader said that the march towards Moscow showed up very serious security problems in Russia. In the released audio file, Yevgeny Prigashin said the convoy of armed rebellions was only 200 kilometers, 125 miles, away from Moscow and had blocked all military infrastructure, which included air bases along its path. Prigoshin said that his fighters received support from happy civilians in the towns they passed through while advancing towards Moscow. In Russian towns, civilians met us with Russian flags and the symbols of Wagner. They were all happy when we passed through, he stated. Lukashenko proposed ways in which Wagner can continue to work. The Wagner chief said that ways in which his mercenary group can continue to work were proposed by Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko, after the weekend rebellion was called off. Lukashenko held out his hand and offered to find solutions for the continuation of the work of the Wagner private military company in a legal jurisdiction, said Yevgeny Prigoshin, in the audio message.